Hello, my name is Manjot Singh. I'm field CTO with MariaDB. Today I want to talk to you about system version tables. Well, what is a system version table? It's a table with some special attributes that allow you to see what it looks like throughout its history. So, for example, what did this table look like last year? What did it look like a month ago, maybe five years ago? Um, you can see what that data looked like when it was in the table, regardless of any inserts, deletes, updates, any other uh, writes that may have happened to the table uh, since that time. Um, so how do they work in MariaDB? Well, it's actually pretty simple. When you define your table, you're going to do your, your create table. Um, we'll call this one T1. Uh, at the end, you're going to add, so you're going to add your columns here. Right? You're going to have all that in the, the parentheses, but you're also going to add in with system versioning. And when you do that, it will now store history in that table. It'll store every version of that row that ever was throughout its history. Um, so what are some represent what are some use cases, right? What would you uh, use this for? Well, when I was a DBA, I did a lot of adding columns created date, or we'd add a column called um, updated by updated date, all of that. Well, now all you need is maybe uh, the username. So you could have like a created by, right? A created by column, and that's it. You don't need to add four auditing columns uh, if, you, if you do that, right? Instead, every time this cr created or updated by column is changed, that user is stored with the date of when it was changed, when it was written. All that information is there. And it's actually in invisible columns that are here uh, that allow this magic to work right here. Um, so let's give a quick example of, of what, how do you use it. Let's say we've created this table. Well, now what you can do is you can do select, so <laughs> select uh, star from T1. Um, but now we're going to say uh, for system time, and we can say as of, um, I don't know, 2020, 03, 13. I know that was a fun day for me. Um, you can see what the table looked like uh, on that day. Right? Who created that row? What rows were in the table, et cetera. But you can also do something interesting. You can, instead of that as of, you can say between. Between, um, I don't know, now minus, uh, and this is, some of this is pseudo SQL, right? We don't program on whiteboards. Um, but you can say minus one year and now. So we can say any time in the past year. You can also say from uh, a date to a date. And that will give you all the, all the row states uh, in those time periods. So it has some really cool features there. Um, one cool feature we talk about in our training class, for example, Las Vegas uh, population. So let's say we have a cities table, right? Just like this. Um, and in maybe in 2008, it was 300,000. Uh, by 2012, it was somewhere around 500,000. So you could actually say select star from cities where uh, name equals Las Vegas. And as of 2008, as of 2012, you can actually see how the data's changed over time. So that's another use case for that. Besides like auditing and things like that, there's, there's a number of use cases. Maybe you have a users table. You want to know which users were there uh, on a certain date. Um, so what I would say is, is try these out. This is something that's pretty unique. Um, my SQL and Postgres don't necessarily have uh, a feature like this. Um, we have some more information on our docs. Um, you can ask some questions below. Like and subscribe.